What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Modern Cube. Nope, that's not true. This is a Modern Deck Critique by Dalkery, otherwise known as Scott H. And uh, we've done this two other times before. We played Blue Black Control in Modern for Scott. And I've liked the deck both times since, but he's I think he's looking to play another event soon. <clears throat> and uh, wants us to take a look at things. One thing I did want to show off before we get started today was something I got in the mail today. It is an incredible Coco Bolo uh, cube deck box courtesy of Aaron Kane custom deck boxes you can find the link in my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description below if you use uh, the promo code Frank you get 10% off your purchase and if you get something custom that's not like just in his store uh, you'll also get some kind of sweet deal so be sure to mention me but this thing is amazing it is very heavy it is huge and there are magnets on this side so I can slide this off And then we have infinite storage space. Um, these are dividers. These are all gonna be. Oh, these cards are gonna get sleeved. I ordered new sleeves, so those are gonna. Those are coming. But there's also dividers in here, and you can have them placed anywhere in the box. I have them every one inch. So all your basic lands are here. Tokens are here, and then the cube is actually here. Uh, there's magnets right here. So you can just take your little lid slide it on and likely not going anywhere it's pretty heavy lid it's pretty hard it takes some these are like rare earth magnets so it takes some work to actually like get it off this is not going to open at any point i don't think so anyway the thing is gorgeous absolutely beautiful got these little uh ma maple inlays here and uh it's just an incredible box so i am extremely impressed i would recommend this to anyone and uh, like I said, Aaron Kane is going to sponsor the stream for a little bit, see how that goes. And if you guys are looking for anything like this, commander deck boxes, cube deck boxes, standard deck boxes, whatever, uh, be sure to check out the link in the description below or in my in my Twitch profile. And uh, you can get 10% off if you use my name for a promo code. So that being said, let's jump right into this. I'm not going to make any changes yet. Um... Scott said he doesn't like four mana leaks because there are a lot of Cavern of Souls going around, which I think is true because you have uh, lots of things uh, that are uncounterable in this format. There's lots, lots of tribal things that you want to do. However, without knowing, I don't really want to change anything yet. Yes, unlike the common Mars magnets. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you're... I don't, I, that's, a good, that's a good joke. I actually like that a lot. However, if you're not joking, they are actually called rare earth magnets because they are made from rare pieces of, of the earth. <clears throat> but also, as far as what the cube is... It is, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a variation on the vintage cube cut down to 360 cards. So, so it's like a piece of wood, but it's hollow inside. So you can put things in it. Yeah, that's basically it. And the things you put in it are also pieces of wood in a sense. So it's basically a tree within a tree. It's really, it's really meta. I was joking, but also don't have any idea what those were. <laughs> Rare earth magnets are strong, permanent magnets made from alloys of rare earth elements. <clears throat> Developed in the 1970s and 80s, rare earth magnets are the strongest type of permanent magnets made, producing significantly stronger magnetic fields than other types such as ferrite or alnico magnets. The magnetic field typically produced by rare earth mag magnets can exceed 1.4 teslas, whereas ferrite or ceramic magnets typically exhibit fields of about 0.5 to 1 tesla. So for any of those any magnet nerds out there, there's some magnet trivia for you. I'm not loving these aligners in right now but i'm gonna try to get used to them i used to do I, I i used to always stream with them in but this particular set is not super friendly also when it's my birthday can we all eat burritos together on stream i'll eat a burrito for you on stream you want to hear something embarrassing i would love to
Hella strong Magnetos. Yep, that is correct. That is correct. But also, <laughs> even if you didn't, even if you were unaware, the joke of common Mars magnets is pretty funny. So, kudos to you, good friend. My judge opponent beat me on a mull to three. They mulled to three? I mean, that's fine. They don't need cards in their hand. So, <laughs> oh, good times. And then beat you on a mull to four. Wow. That is a thing. This hand seems great. I'm going to keep it. Like you do. <clears throat> seven card hand confirmed disadvantage for Dredge. Yeah. Once they keep those seven card hands, it's all over for them. And this box is looking, it just looks very, very nice. It has a very good, uh, it looks nice. Let's just put it that way. It's much heavier than say a cardboard box, a cardboard long box. Which is obvious. However, that being the case, still shockingly heavy. Be sure to slam Howie Hype for bonus points. The ultimate present, though, you can ask for. Donate $25 for Frank to get a Hungry Howie's Pizza so we can eat it live on stream later. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Real mature, take my search for us content. Well, I got two mana leaks though. Oh, I like that. Now we can go mana leak into mana leak. That's fine. I'm not going to mail like a thought sees here. They took a damnation. Interesting. Like, I can't imagine they realistically get around mana leak if they're playing like Gurmag Angler. I guess they can go land Gurmag Angler, exile all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like they go fetch land, crack it, Gurmag Angler. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, activate, and then they're playing around mana leak. Uh, if we don't have 25, will you order the pizza and eat it right now? No, I will not, because I just ate lunch. So basically, I can bounce your Gurmag Angler, and you can probably never recast it again. Seems good. What was for lunch? I just had breakfast for lunch. I had eggs and uh, vegetarian sausages. I'll take five here. We could have mana leaked. I'm not sure if they have counterspell. They might have like stubborn denial, right? Yeah. I did hear the blues are calling. No tough salads, though. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, this isn't going to matter for the clock. So we can counter the Snapcaster. But then they pay for it. I'd rather them cast Snapcaster, try to Stubborn Denial. And then we counter that because then it's exiled from the graveyard, which is relevant. I mean, we lose Jace here, unfortunately. And now they get to, wow, they pull the Delta just lets them replay Gurmag Angler. That's pretty brutal. That's a solid draw. Got him. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, see you later, fish weirdo. I think this game's probably over. Well, I guess you got a I guess you got a lightning bolt. Sure. The problem is if they draw like eh, if they draw like Tasker, we still get to kill it. They did not. They can pretty much counter anything. So we're probably going to actually just discard the Mana Leak. Or not counter anything, but they can pay for anything we do here. Um, like even Gurmag Angler is 4, 5, 6, 7. They can easily pay for anything. I like this spell here. I don't care about Fatal Push that much. Because it's not great. Alright, you're not great. Counter Squall's alright as well, I guess. There's a lot of things we don't mind Counter Squalling. Oh, they do have Death Shadow, I guess. We didn't actually see it that game, but... The downfall, all the odds are great. Yeah, it only makes sense they have Death Shadow. They did discard a Battle Rage. Um, I, 
think this is fine. Like, I don't care enough about Nihil Spell Bombs. I could see adding one more Fatal Push just for the idiots. Um, I think Mana League's actually valuable in this matchup, even though they... I think I one Mana League, actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. I like Dispel against Team or Battle Rage, against uh, Stubborn Denial, and against, like, even just Lightning Bolt is fine. Mm, that's a good hand. Kenny Rogers. That's a fine choice. What song specifically? I forgot what Kenny Rogers song I was singing. You can go on the bottom. Yeah, I don't like Surgical against Death Shadow. Um, like, if they happen to have multiple, like, Gurmag Anglers in hand, like, you could get lucky, but you already have to kill one. And the odds of them having multiple, it's just, it's never that great. Mm -hmm. Wow, is this like... This is going to be fetch land. Go to nine, play four, four. Wow, and they have one card after this. Yeah, I literally was thinking the gambler. That's, yep. Six six. Well, this is a solid dude. We are we have a few draw steps, I guess. Sea Monk, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Not great. not going to play search here because like if they drop another threat or something it's just not great for us wow they just milled two death shadows that's pretty good <laughs> glad you didn't draw those i guess turns our two turn clock into a one turn clock i also have no interest in cracking this flooded strand because again it's uh a one turn clock instead plus if we hit another basic land we can actually crack both of them to play cryptic command or we can just do that, I guess, and hope that works. All right, let's see if your last card is a counterspell. It never isn't, so I guess you win. You manage to play a single creature, deal 13 damage to yourself, and have a single counterspell in your hand. That's how this game went. Yeah, I'm just going to bring that in. Um... You played one creature, dealt 13 to yourself, and played one one mana counter spell. Good times. I'm not sick with food poisoning, and the entire time I've been fighting nausea, I've had the Rambler playing in my head. I've folded three times so far. <laughs> well, on the bright side, you know when to, so that's good. <laughs> one is a scrober, the other is a dad. Hmm. Let's do it the other way. <sighs> Damnation is fascinating. I'm gonna keep both. There are reports of gunmen across the street from my apartment, so I guess I'm gonna sit here and watch the. Wow! Magic. I mean, America. 
Jeez. That is unreasonable. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just going to play this. And, uh, because we want to draw the damnation, but we can also play Liliana next turn, which is kind of nice. This is where I play a big fat idiot. Oh, they didn't play a big fat idiot. Let's get a basic island because that sounds cool. Nope, that ain't going to do it. I have stubborn denial in my hand every game. I mean, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to not play this. I'm also not going to wait till next turn. We have multiple four drops that we want to play, so. Sure. Well, that was a quick that was a quick decision. And they're not doing anything though. They're also at like I love that they're at eight, because like <laughs> there's so few threats in my deck that we need to actually draw to kill them. Actually surprised they don't have anything. So we go one, two, three. And we're just countering this and drawing a card, right? I was hoping we could actually kill their land and then do it, but then they could have stubborn dial up. Well, I guess we get to see what you have now. Disdainful Stroke and Teamer Battle Rage. I'm going to take the Stroke because that counters our Damnation, whereas Battle Rage doesn't do anything in your hand right now. They're also at five. Well, there's no way you take two here, right? You're not that. You're not that suicidal. Okay. Well, you're dead next turn. <laughs> so, sweet deck. And got him. All right. Well, that's a pretty good 1 0 against the Death Shadow deck. Okay. I really have no issues so far. I worry four mana leaks is a lot because you do they do become uh, a little worse in the late game. Poodle Lover, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. 
We have a hero's downfall right here, you nerd. I do like go for the throat. I think it's a very good answer. Hmm. I also like Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like a second search for Ascanta just because it's never a card I want to, like, draw multiples of. I mean, it's not like you're going to draw a ton of them, but, you know, I'd rather just have one and, and it's cool. I think it just might be go for the throat. It just kills a lot of things. Yeah, unfortunately, I love Ashiok to death, but unfortunately, I just don't think it's very good in modern. Like, it just doesn't do anything. Ashiok's also a lot stronger and limited because your deck is significantly smaller. I mean, it could be a second cast down. The problem is cast the cast down doesn't kill Tassiger. Or Kalidus, which are two very prominent threats. Whereas, like, you know, Go for the Throat, like, kills pretty much everything outside of Affinity. And there's really not that much, there's not that much Affinity. Go for okay. Well, baby Jace is kind of interesting. What about like Jace Vryn's Prodigy? I wonder if that's any good. I haven't seen much. I haven't seen much hardened scales at all. That's interesting. But also, like, I mean. Yeah, like in the modern classic, there was looks like there was no hardened scales in the top eight. There was no hardened scales in the top eight of the open. There were no hardened scales in like the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The top ten of the modern challenge on Magic Online. I don't. I just don't like hardened scales. Is that um, that prominent? But I mean, if it's in your metagame, like I, I think it's definitely worthy of taking into consideration but I also don't think one go for the throat is going to make or break your hardened scales matchup one elk tears birthday buck the best part about this stream is that I'm going to get the birthday buck so that's cool I do like I do like Bitter Blossom and Tassiger. I don't think a one of Bitter Blossom is really where you want to be because it's a bad top deck. Whereas Tassiger is good both in the late game and the early game, which is kind of nice. Is there a way to donate without paying a monthly fee? What's a monthly fee? I don't know what you mean there. Well, I feel like everything is going to throw on the opponent's removal. Like, even even Creeping Tar Pit. Are, we, are win conditions... Like, what are our win conditions here? Like, Tass or, uh, just literally bashing with Snapcaster Mage and Planeswalkers? Because that seems grindy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Kerwit. Wow, buddy. Wow. Don't ghost me, bro. How did our old... How did the previous version work? I feel like the previous version did really, really... Well, hold on. Let me find. I'm gonna find the last version we played. Well, we're playing against Kerwit now, so that's pretty funny. Um, looking right. I'm looking for the deck right now. Uh, Battle of Wits, man. We went over a we, we've been a, we've done a ton of decks here. This is great. 
One one Bober Scrober Buck. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Ideally, they're playing creatures. Oh, you're gonna win! I just got on for the jokes. Wow. Okay. Well, this is efficient. This is efficient test thing. All right, here I found it. Oh, the previous version had two Vendillion Click, one Tassiger. That's not bad. And it's still three more creatures. Bober in the queue. <laughs> oh, good times. All right. There's a lot of lands. How many lands do we have? 23? Got to be 23, right? 24. That's a good amount. Close this one. Hmm, I'm not going to counter that. What did Foothills and what is the other card? Insult to injury. All right, well. Yeah, all right. Got a pretty removal heavy hand here. I'm getting franked, which probably means he's drawing way too many lands, which is fine. Oh my god. Oh boy. Take a look at this fairies wheel from the recent GP. Will do. Will do. If we jace the mind sculptor here, do we die? I guess we could safely thought seize. Hmm. God, I'd really just rather jace, but I'm going to thought seize because I'm not a maniac. That seems like a pretty integral part of your deck, so I'm just gonna take that. You like what you see? <laughs> no, no I don't. Oh God. Swanny boy, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Two birds of paradise off of a collective company. Wow. What do they play? A mountain? Alright, so we know you have Mana Warfus for Benorher and Lightning Bolt, huh? Hmm. So they could theoretically go Lightning Bolt Jace and then Insult to Injury targeting Burden Jace. Hmm. Bop, bop. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's a solid community reference. 
It's a real magnitude of you. Maybe he won't crack. Hold on. Oh, they didn't crack. They drew the Iron Mesa. God, you can't. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we just get a Manamorphose, right? You cast it? No. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but... That's not going to work. <sighs> Watch out, he might attack you with the bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a monster. He's history's greatest monster. Orchard's gone. Okay. Oh, my God. So we put back a Jace and something else. Hey, look, a Boros Reckoner. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Wow, this deck is great. Um... See if you have anything worth taking. No. Wow. Wow. That would have killed us. That's amazing. So we're going to draw Snapcaster. And then we're going to shuffle away the Jace. <laughs> Way to ruin the fun. Hey, buddy. Listen. I'll choose you. snappy boy um bottom you i don't think we need a search at this point we're pretty well ahead right now god if they if you resolve the blasphemous act we just die <laughs> oh that's pretty comical. What does this cost? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know it's Blasphemous Act in hand. Make them discard it. Oh, we're definitely snapping and killing it. I mean, unless we draw like a Cryptic Command or something. Huh. 
Well, now we're snapping and killing it for real. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. All right, we're probably going to keep the mana leak. We'll put this in a snapback. God, I keep adding double blue when I want to add more. This card is just dangerous for as long as it's in your hand, so no. Planeswalker drawn assembled. Oh, man. Although two of them are the same, so it's breaking the space-time continuum in that way. They do get to Aftermath and kill Liliana and Snapcast, which is pretty good. Frank Connick Disciple, welcome back. Thank you so much. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Let's get the swamp and play it. Mm, actually, we'll put these two back. Get you. I'm content with a three turn clock. Is Counterspell not in modern? Uh, no, I don't think so. Counterspell was seventh edition at the latest. Could have sworn we just shuffled that away, but. Got a card in your hand, huh? I mean, this makes them dead next turn, so. Yeah, every time I shuffle this Jace away, it comes right on back. In modern, Logic Knot is kind of like Counterspell. That's a good point. Like it's, it's double blue, and it's usually hard counter, so. Got him. All right, so... Counter Squall and Collective Brutality both seem good. You can kill a bird and get rid of any of their instants or sorceries, which are relevant. Mm, Fatal Push seems great. Damnation can, can probably do without. The only thing we really care about is Boros Reckoner. Got one of these Lilianas and maybe one Jace. Mm, I don't like taking out the Jace. Probably just take out one Serum Visions. Eh, it's just kind of like a meh. Is insult to injury is insult to injury in? Uh, I thought it was a sorcery. Yeah, insult to injury is a sorcery, so dispel is not going to hit it. So I don't think it's actually worth it to keep it just for, for both and collected company, especially when collected company is usually only getting uh, Boros Reckoner, as far as we know. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the case. That's just misremembering. Or I'm just going to play Serum Visions here. Mana leak. I will keep the del. I want to keep both of these.
So we get the third land. And Liliana actually seems great here. If we have to Boros, Re if they have to push a Boros record, that's fine. If not, we'll just draw the Liliana, which is great. Domri Raid. That's thank something. Perinu, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, these are actually Return to Ravnica Temple Gardens, not original Temple Gardens. So... No, there's one original and one Return to Ravnica, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're just going to pass and keep Liliana. Do I want to play Liliana here? Probably, right? I mean, they don't really have much pressure here, which is nice. Frank took my bit virginity bits. Wow. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad. I, I'm glad it could be me. I guess. Whatever that means. Do you ever get the duck song stuck in your head? Which one? The grape song? That's a good one. I think you gave them? What does that mean? Those are two different things. What are you saying right now? Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. On the very next day, bump, 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 bump. Duck walked up to the lemonade stand. Hmm. Yes, the grape one. <laughs> oh, look, we're, we're now we're regretting not getting a watery grave here. What have we been, I don't even know the grape thing. I have no idea what that grape thing is all about. Not in my house. Have they, have you hit once with this Domri raid? <laughs> it's 
gonna be like, no. Hmm. Well, I'd love to. I really don't feel like liliana in here. Our hand is pretty good. All right, I'm clicking the link. Five hundred great biddies. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why? Wait. Here we go. He's gonna say wait five times. You ready? Here we go. All right, we're not dead. God, are we dead? Yeah, this is all fine. Do they make these two fight? I knew they were, I knew it. I was like, oh no. Yep. Do we have a Liliana on top? I think we have Liliana Watery Grave, so I can actually just get another Liliana here. Hmm. Well, I don't I guess that wasn't how that worked, but still worked out fine. Liliana's for days. Good times. Illusions donate GG with the resub. It's your boy. Never didn't have it. Well, Jace helps you have it. It's not like I naturally have it. It's all thanks to your boy. It's also the first day of Hanukkah, so uh, I actually don't know how to say that, so I'm not going to to anyone. Can I just say Happy Hanukkah? Is that is that is that a similar? Shut up and take my money. Long time YouTube viewer, love your cube videos. Always excited when it's cube season. You and me both. You and me both. Rylos, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, there will be Ultimate Masters drafts later this week. I will be uh, probably going through a bunch of those because I always enjoy the Masters drafts. I eat grapes. Wow. You like the I you like the, you like I heard turtles, zombie kid. I like turtles. <laughs> I eat grapes. Yeah, cool story, buddy. So we can't keep up anything. I think we're just going to wait. We'll wait till we get one more land, then we can keep up uh, cryptic command things. <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> you do have creatures in your deck, right? Yeah, we're going to say no to this. Yeah, that's going to be a nope for me, dog. I am going to eat hot wings for the stip. That's the whole point of the stipulation. That's I, Of course I'm going to do that, but it's not going to be today. I'm not going to do it right this second.
When is that? Later this week sometime. I don't know. Whenever whenever the sauces get here. I ordered X Horesco, which is uh, the second to last one on the current hot one li- current hot ones lineup, and I ordered uh, De Bomb because I actually didn't have any De Bomb because it's literal battery acid and it's actual garbage hot sauce, but it's it's kitschy and hot, so there's fun in its misery, I guess. Um, I'm gonna discard this Inquisition, which is basically the same as. One, two, three, activate. We can't keep Cryptic up. We're going to just have to keep grinding away here. Yeah, I'm not enjoying these in right now. Okay. He's dead. What is this? It deals two damage? No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. Uh, I pulled out uh, aligners that I have in. If I pulled out my dentures, my, my teeth would uh, my teeth would not still be in right now. I wouldn't have teeth visible. <laughs> Show chat my giant sandwich. What does that even mean? Did you text me your sandwich? Oh my god, you totally texted me your sandwich. Jesus. This is the text message I just got from Elk Tears. Can you see it? This is this is Elk Tears' giant sandwich. It's actually pretty impressive. It's a good looking sandwich, man. It's a good looking sandwich. I have to kill this guy. Or I can just counter this. We're just gonna counter this. This is this match is gone for a, a, a quite a while, which is which is kind of comical considering this meme deck that that Kerwitz playing. Oh my God! How many Jaces can I draw? Jace can go back, and Thoughtseize can go back. You have no cards. Put this dude in the trash can. All right, now we can actually start getting aggressive here. Because we can sacrifice this to grab just an island. We can have Snapcaster with either Mana Leak or Counter Squall, which is nice. Have we ever been, have we ever been in trouble, though? No, not really. Not really. It's just a grind. Oh, this guy, huh? Okay, you got it. No cards in your graveyard? Deal. Let's get that last watery grave. Where do all your creatures keep going, man? Oh, Scarab God sounds so legit, dude. That is a card I want to play in modern. Is Scarab God good in modern? What? You're just blowing my mind. Just made my ears ring with that whisper. We have a fatal push. That's the ASMR talking. <laughs> Eh, put these two back. Put this guy down. We'll draw a land. Uh, Heroes Downfall's fine. I don't care about you. We'll each discard. We'll get rid of this guy. We'll say okay. We'll attack you for a million. No, no, it is not. But I'm, I'm a board. Yes, what's a board? Yes. Like it's just, it's not like. So here's the thing, I don't think Scarab God is like your go-to, your go-to threat in modern. Right? It's not going to be that. But when you're in a situation like this where you've stabilized the board and you just want a win condition, like I think slamming a Scarab God and being able to reanimate like a Boros Reckoner or something is pretty strong. I don't think it's terrible as like one as you're like your one of late game threat. Is 
see i would i would personally love to play one but i'm i'm also about making a statement as well so you can start losing now i'm working on it oh a bird of paradise eh you don't say I mean, at worst, you discard it to Liliana or you shuffle it away with Jace. Like, it's really, like, it feels like it would not be a liability in this deck of all places. Yeah, I don't care about that bird. I don't care about your bird. So you have no cards in hand, so we're just putting you on the two-turn clock. I think this is fine. So you like literally have to top deck to deal with these guys. My problem with Doom Whisper is like, like you can still go for the throat it. You can kill it with most, most of your like outside of Path. Um, Path is like one of the main ways to deal with the Scarab God, right? But otherwise, it just keeps coming back, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess we'll just keep drawing three. We could have also bounced their bird and uh, made them discard it, but that's not very exciting, as we are all, we're all aware. They do have an insult to injury, but I don't know if that's going to do it. Why not start fate sealing? It because it's mostly irrelevant right now. I mean, I'm not saying my play is actually better in that situation, but like, I don't think I don't think Kerbert's getting out of this situation just because. We fate. I mean, we actually could have fate sealed and just guaranteed that we'd be able to attack with two, but I think we're fine. I'm tempted to put a scarab god in. I'll be really honest with you guys. Even if like they dismember it, like they can dismember it, go for the throat. It. Uh, they can't push it. Wow. Why am I so tempted to play? Maybe I take a one Jace for a scarab god. Ooh, is that a thing? Be honest right now. Okay. Let's hear it. How did you like my insane deck? I was really hoping it would do something. <laughs> Hi oh. How many matches are you playing? Probably I usually play around four. I like Aetherling is six mana though, that's the problem. Like and if they like Aetherling is six mana or, or seven mana if you don't want it to die. And that's a lot. Like, five mana for Scarab God, and then you don't care if it dies, because they just... I'm going to play one match with Scarab God. I'm not sure if it's going to be real. God, the hardest part is, like, finding my deck before someone else jumps in the queue. You said, I'm going to be honest, I just wanted to make sure... You oh, okay, I see what you said. I see what you're doing there. I thought you were going to ask me a question, like, be honest. Would you... 61 card... What, did we didn't... Do you want to take... I thought we took out... We were supposed to take out a Jace. Oh, we didn't take out the Jace for the Scarab God. Well... I don't think that's actually going to affect things. The, the amount of the percentage point of that actually having a an impact is pretty low. But no, take out a leak. What? Really? Take out a leak? A third leak over the uh, over the third Jace? The shadows. What's going on, buddy? How you been? How you been? Man, I w I would take out the. I see. And the thing is, like, I I love Jace more than more than anyone, literally more than anyone. Look at this deck box, man. This thing is this thing is gorgeous. I can't even handle this. Look at this. Look at this wood, man. Look at this grain. If you guys are interested in something like this, check out Aaron Aaron Kane Customs. You can find the link in my profile, my Twitch profile, or my uh, YouTube description of this video, and you'll get ten percent off if you use the promo code Frank. That's me. New job starting on January 2nd. Yes. Congrats, buddy. That that grain is nice. You ain't wrong. Oh, you drew a creeping tar pit. Do you ever bottom a serum visions? I don't think so. I'm going to bottom the damnation, though, just because I don't know what we're playing against. So next time we can go tar pit, tar pit serum visions again. 
Oh wow, last day of current job is January first. New job starts on January second. That's what a what a life of convenience you're living for yourself, buddy. Alright, let's see what kind of degenerate deck we're playing against now. I can't deal with your cube box big dick energy right now. <laughs> Hey man, you're the guy sending me pictures of big old sandwiches. Big old sandwiches. Look at my big old sandwich. Is that a euphemism? Probably not. That'd be weird. Another cryptic command. Here's the scarab god. It's your boy. Uh, we're probably just gonna keep. I don't want to keep either of these actually because we do want to hit more lands. So both go to the bottom. I'm going to play Tarpet here because it leaves us able to play Heroes Downfall next turn. Uh, but really, which is the model? There's no model name. I actually, this is actually, this one was actually custom. Um, it's just a single, it's an individual, individual, single row cube box um, out of Coco Bolo. Oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, I see what's happening right now. Well then. We got some big butts online. Oh, that's a good land. Yeah, I was wondering I was wondering how why you haven't been around. How come you haven't hung around recently? I'm gonna keep both of these. And then we're gonna play search. So we gotta land. Um, I guess the Liliana is not getting kept because we're going to Jace and we're going to I don't know I guess we'll find out what did you call me a Koku what now y you done heard you? CB thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it oh oh, that's just actually Billy really gifting five subs like an actual maniac thank you Billy just shows up and says I'm going to give five subs seems good thank you so much buddy good to see you pal thank always you. a pleasure Someone called Bonjour Blue Cheese got a gift sub, and that is a great name. So if you're in the chat right now, congrats on that name. Bonjour. Bonjour. Is that from Beauty and the Beast? Sun Home? What is going on right now? Work out busy now. I feel like I can just relax. Yeah, well, until... Uh, for another month, of, I, I would assume. All these subs are given my name to honor my egg, giant eggplant birthday sub. <laughs> Do I like gifted subs or donations more? Probably don't. Donations probably help me out more, but subs are also great because um, they're good for the total. I don't. It doesn't matter. If you guys want to support, you guys can support however you however you however you so desire. What are we doing? I'm keeping this. So. How are we at 13 already? Oh, they bolted us. Three, four, five. And I guess we took two from Watery Grave last turn. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to get a Swamp here. Because I don't feel like going crazy. And they have two cards. Not terrible. And I'll send your bird packing. Bird packing. Can everybody have fun tonight? Can everybody uh, Wang Chung tonight? Man, this is like two Naya Faithless looting decks with like weird strategies. That's legal in 29 say. What did I say? Have fun in Wang Chung? Is that what I said? Is that because that it feels like you responded very, very quickly, so. Yeah, in case you guys are curious how secure this box is, I actually can't even get it open right now. It's actually that those magnets are that well closed. Um Actually Manalik is fine in the graveyard because we have double cryptic command and we have Snapcaster Mage, so. What don't we want here? Fatal Push can probably... Actually, Hero's Downfall can go. 
and I guess one cryptic command. That doesn't sound great, though. Yeah, it sounds fine. I'm just going to pass here and keep up counterspell, maybe? No, we're going to Liliana here. We get rid of a fatal push. I think it's just worse than these other cards in our hand. If they like, we know they have a bird in hand unless they discard it here. I could see them discarding it. They discarded it. Yeah, I like all three of these planeswalkers. Liliana is my least favorite of these three, but. Uh, I literally can't get it open now. What if I could just never get it open again? Oh, also, what if I actually try to open it the correct way instead of backwards? Because now I can get it open just fine. So, uh, future reference, when you're trying to open it, pull it away, pull it pull it towards the way it opens, not, not away from the way it opens. That's how that works. Yeah, this box is super nice. Call me old fashioned. I like boxes that opened. Does that have haste? Is this going to literally kill us? Oh, this is terrifying. So she deals nine? I guess we should have kept that fatal push. I did not, uh, I did not predict a gold knight cascader coming down here. There's a cascading disconnection problem? What the hell is that? I actually don't even want to crack this anymore. We got a two? God, I want to vomit. Are we safe at two? I don't think so, man. I guess we make them discard. We can kill this and make them discard. Oh, they're killing Liliana. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So what's our plan then? We're gonna, I wanna crack this next turn so that we can actually fatal push. Uh, No, I'm gonna keep that. It's still a cryptic command. A cryptic command is still a cryptic command. It's Jace. Okay, so we can put Hairstone Fall and Water Grave on there. One, two, three, and then we have three left over. All right, this works out well. So now we can go one, two, Snapcaster. Uh, I think we're actually gonna keep up Cryptic Command here because we've already seen that they can, they have creatures that can deal us nine. <laughs> So, yeah, we're just going to kill this now. We're going to keep up Cryptic Command and call it a day. <laughs> she killed the other. <laughs> oh, man. Scott, I love your attachment here. I love how, I love how emotionally invested you're getting. I was at work and had to get up. <laughs> Oh man, good times, good times. Um, yeah, so alright, we're not gonna do anything, so I guess we're just gonna crack this guy. Shuffle away those other things. I'm gonna keep getting islands here, cause... Mm, get a free mana leak, any order. Well, that's an easy put back. Oh, it's your boy! Uh, I can put both of these back, play this guy. One, two, three, four, five, and then we get up. Th we have three mana left. Hmm. One, two, three, four. So we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, all right. 
I just want to Scarab God next turn and get back a Gold Knight Castigator. No, I don't. I'd probably die. We can get Runic Armasaur. Um, one, two, three. Big Lils. Planeswalker. Uh, Planeswalker Tron almost assembled. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Oh my god, what is with these what is with these decks? Here's what we're gonna do. Counter a spell and bounce this. So like you could replay this next turn, but you can't also play Gold Knight Castigator unless you hit like a red mana. Oh, that's rude. Let's get a swamp and then we'll get a watery grave and we'll just get all the lands out of our deck. Come on. and you back play you it's your boy is that an instant concession or are you just going to be like I'm out I can't deal with it <laughs> I love how upset you are that we didn't actually assemble Planeswalker Tron. That's great. I mean, why can't we? Why we can swing with the Golden Castigator, right? I mean that seems fine, right? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna animate it and then like I mean I like all these basics. Like this is pretty nice. Deflecting pollen would be insane, just take eight back and kill us. So Gold Knight Castigator would deal us 9 and actually kill us, it, it, which is an issue. So we're just going to actually let this mana go. How many legs does Scarab God have? I think just two. Thank you. Billy, thank you so much for the other gifted sub. You're, uh... A scholar. <laughs> wow, wasted zero time getting that. Uh... God, we just got a six and take two lightning bolts to the face, which I'm sure they have. I guess we have cryptic command. And now I don't even want to do it. I guess we can wait. That was stupid then. Now 
now we get to do a little scry arena. I don't think you're gonna help us out any. Oh, well, you're definitely not helping us out. Maybe you're helping us out. I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, if we still had our creeping tarpet, it's exactly right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But we don't. Hey, we do now. Uh, let's get rid of Thoughtseize and Field of Ruin. We'll play tarpet. And we'll just two-turn clock you with a cryptic command in hand. I feel like that's safe. Oh, you're going to do a thing. Collected company. That seems like... This is actually fairly scary because, like... If they have, like, another Gold Knight Castigator in their hand... They just get to kill us with it. Because we don't have a trigger for... I'm going to let it resolve. Maybe they whiff. Maybe they hit a birds. Maybe they hit, like, some nonsense. Like, we're also at six, so, like, they can't hit Gold Knight Castigator off of this. And, like, we could always count oh they whiffed all right <laughs> that's what we're that's what we're hoping for here like we get to go to their turn and like we can tap their creatures down with cryptic command if that's a threat or we can just do whatever like if we tap their guys down on their turn we still have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve damage so as long as two gets through this turn almost impossible yes but not entirely impossible All right, so, <laughs> oh boy, God, Collective Company is a weird card. Brutality can probably come in here. Yeah, I keep wanting to take out one of the mana leaks. It just gets to a point in modern where it's like not as good. Take out AJs. I feel like Counter Squall is almost better than Mana Leak here. Actually, I like Counter Squall a lot better. Counter is Collected Company and Assault Formation, which are both very, very relevant threats. And we have a ton of creature removal, so I'm not really too concerned with any of the creatures they play. I will keep this hand. No blue, but if we get one blue, we get search, which should ideally find future blues. They went to six, and we also have an Inquisition. So the past two decks have been Naya decks with Faithless Looting and Collected Company and a really obscure creature strategy. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's see what's happening here. Let's get that Assault Formation out of the hand. Oh, nailed it. Erratic Cyclops. Wow, that's actually a 0-8. That's an 8-8 with an Assault Formation. Unfortunately, the Assault Formation is in the garbage can. Rootbound Crag. All right. Spellskite. All right. Uh, 
Okay, well. Okay, so we know you have, we have to actually path, push this guy. Come on land, come on blue manas. Yep, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna handle it all you ready. I've had Queen songs stuck in my head since I saw Bohemian Rhapsody about a week ago. It is uh it's pretty bad. Not the movie, the movie was great. I actually enjoyed it a ton, despite all the critical panning. Unlike Venom, which I did not enjoy at all. Just mono cringe fest. We have to get rid of this because otherwise they're just going to do a thing. Come on. Oh, we're so good at this game. Did you guys even know we were this good at this game? This is amazing. I'm like so, so blessed. Actually, we're just going to play Sir we're just going to play Serum Visions here. Uh, I want to be able to set up lands for next turn to hit a Jace. Oh, well, that is a land. Actually, we're going to keep all these. So next turn they can go Radix Cyclops, which means we probably want Fatal Push. And yeah, this is fine. Do we actually we don't have a way to trigger Fatal Push though, do we? Oh, we can just Damnation if we really need to. Yeah, that's fine. Also, there was a new Freshly Brewed freshly brewed, pod, freshly brewed podcast with me and Ollie and Trazi that went up literally last night at some point. So if you guys want to check that out, you can either go to, you can just search for a Freshly Brewed podcast, or you can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, or Spotify, any of your favorite podcast outlets. I don't actually think I care about this guy yet, right? I think I'd rather just have search here. Like, I mean... They have one card in hand. If it's a salt formation, we take eight. I'll deal with it. Update on the gunman. Lockdown got lifted and no threat was found. Some Jesus. America. They did nothing. All right, what are we getting here? Liliana? Hmm. Huh. 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 They don't have any white mana, which is nice. Yeah, I just figured out how to put it on Spotify this weekend. So I think it was like Saturday I did it or Sunday. It's Liliana. Do I care about this Liliana? I don't think so, man. Keep it. We need drawn. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm just going to play this. And play it untapped, and then bounce this, bro. Bounce your big, your green meanie. Uh, that's clearly a red card, Frank. <laughs> yes, thank you. Google Play? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a thing? Look at this. What do we take? Four here? That's fine. Oh, Jace dies. That's what's happening here. Actually, we get to kill this once Jace dies. So that's actually... You know what? Cool beans. Neon Tokyo, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I come online and for the first thing I hear is a resigned sigh from Frank. That's my that's life. Yeah, that's uh, water giver. You can go. We're not gonna flip this yet, though. Let's see what we got here. God, Jace is so good. Have you ever guys have you ever cast a Jace the Mind Sculptor? It's pretty unbelievable. Let's see what you're working with here. 
I know one of one of them is an erratic cyclops. All right, so you have nothing, and we have a search and a jace. That seems good. Oh, push is unbelievable for modern. America. Why well, do I have this Team America song stuck in my head? Oh, because of the shooting. That's that's cool. <sighs> Super awkward. Vile aggregate. Look at this weirdo. Yes, it is true. I am an Eldrazi weirdo. No, because you're a pleb boy. Wow, that's that's aggressive. But no, that's fair. You're correct. What do we got here? If it's a land, it's going in the garbage. Oh, cryptic command? I would never put a cryptic command in the graveyard. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to flip it. I always get my triggers confused, but I think it's actually fine. I'm going to do a little bouncy bounce. Oh, my, my mouse finally died. I was waiting for it. It was warning me all week, but we have finally, not all week, but all day since yesterday. Now i got to plug it in. And we're good. We made it. Looks like we made it. Oh, vile aggregate, eh? I'll cryptic command that. Oh, a field of ruin. We can get rid of your sun home and get an island. Another vile aggregate? Oh, man. Aggregates for days. Very aggressive. These have been very grindy games, but I think it's actually this. I think it's actually our deck. Like we kind of just have no way. We have ways to control the game. We just don't have that many ways to close out the game, which I think is my biggest issue so far. The Planeswalkers are all fantastic, but like it's very grindy. Jace on board. Jace on board. Everybody got a Jace on board. Splash white for Teferi. I actually hate that. Uh, not not at all. But the I think you, you obviously know due to the uh, due to the Kappa that uh, we give them a white if we do this though, which is kind of. I mean, they don't have any lands in hand, and if they draw a land. Whatever. You can just get rid of it. I just want another island. We can also fatal push this guy. One, two, three, one, two. Yes, we can go one, two. Actually, do we just play... Maybe we just play Liliana negative this guy. Like... I mean, if they have, if they just all of a sudden get, um, if they get an assault formation off the top, then we can actually play Snapcaster block and then Fatal Push. So we're basically trading a Snapcaster for a Vile Aggregate. And if they don't, it's just not a threat. I like crushing my opponent's spirit for the next. It is how control is, but like in a big event, I, I, I actually worry about going to time because that's a real thing. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, that's not the worst. Snap one. If they have a salt formation, I'm talking about. If they have a salt formation, it would, right? Yeah, snap would die. Mm. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Well, now we actually get to keep. The problem is the blue black version is very very streamlined and I like it a lot. It has a lot of all like almost all your cards are super super relevant and the ones that aren't you can either get rid of with Jace or Liliana. Um I think the deck has a lot going for it. Uh 
Well, we're definitely using that. Oh, biscuits. Pretty sure it's just Liliana here. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, Pact of Negation. Yeah, that's a thing. I also like that it has seven basic lands, which is not something you could do in a regular three-color deck. Caught in a landslide, no. Escape from reality. One, two, three, four. This is nice because we actually have Snapcaster, Countersquall, Countersquall. We have two Countersqualls here. One, two, one, two, one, two. So theoretically, we should be able to ultimate Liliana here and win the game the way Richard Garfield intended it. A little sad that I'm not playing the Doran Maryland version of this deck. This version is rather harmless. Well, you done you done messed up, eh, Aaron? Spellskite? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, mostly because I can't do anything about that, so. It's going to be a land. Creeping Tarpet. No? Okay. Well, there is a Creeping Tarpet here. Um, I'll actually keep both of these. And we get to ultimate Liliana next turn. And we have Snapcaster for Cryptic or just Counter Squall. Damnation of the board here? Why do I care about that? We're going to ultimate. <sighs> I like math, but not nine rounds of it. This deck, you judge how you're doing on the opponent's morale. Yeah, that's... <laughs> how you feeling over there? Appreciate it. We're doing great. Uh, yes, counter squall this. They have no cards in hand. Redirect it to Spellskite in a last ditch effort of of terror. No? Okay. Well, we did it. Attack Liliana in a last ditch effort as well. Nothing? Nothing? Zombones. Connect them to the neck bones. Pass the turn. Emblems are weird, man. And like we have cards in our hand all the time, which is super nice. I'm just a poor boy. So I like that we have Cryptic Command and we have Snapcaster's Counter Squall. That is a lot of reassurance. And we also have Fatal Push outside of that as well. So four, two, and two, and then one. Boom, 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 boom. So I take ten next turn. We could actually play Snapcaster, Fatal Push this guy, and attack the Creeping Tarpet if we just want to win. I don't think we're uh, in any danger, though. Look at this fat boy. Are we 3-0 with this deck? I know we didn't play against the most competitive decks, but nonetheless, like... So... The thing about testing like this is that a lot of times you're not doing it to test against the most popular matchups and, and be like, oh, okay, this is exactly how I play against this, this type of match. A lot of times you're doing it just to get a feel for the deck you're playing and to figure out if you feel any... It's, 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 very, it's very intuitive, where it's like you kind of feel... Uh, if there's any shortcomings or if you need to work on things. Like if I never had a counter spell in my hand or if they played a card and I had no way to deal with it, um, that's something you kind of want to look at. 
and it's mostly to get like iterations in with the deck so you know like you're you're familiar with what your odds are of drawing certain things or what you need in certain situations or you know if if i keep a two land hand how likely am i to hit a third land or a card that gets me into a third land it's you're getting a lot of feel for the deck when you when you test like this and it's not necessarily due to uh you're not necessarily just trying to get familiarity with the top tier decks or something like that so like even a match like this like we're still we're still learning things like we're not playing against the most competitive modern decks but we're still getting information and we're still feeling out our deck and figuring out what it does or doesn't need uh i mean because you can just replace these with like if this is a tarmogoyf and this is a a, a grim flare let's say you know or whatever like you're still going to want to be able to uh have ways to deal with those creatures <laughs> who said we're not a creature deck touche touche i didn't even do anything here i just don't even there's nothing i can really even I just want to see myself with uh, 14 zombies on the board. That's really where I want to be. What's the Elk Tears birthday stipulation going to be for Cube? That's a good question. That's a good question. What do you want it to be, buddy? Only draft Elks. And that was how we were unable to actually draft the Cube at all. This is where they go blasphemous act, and we're like, what even? <sighs> the funny thing is, well, no, I was like, I said, the funny thing is, like, if they had assault formation here, they could probably kill us because this, this is 12. But I'm like, oh, we have eight zombies, and we have cryptic command, and we have snapcaster, snapcaster, fatal. Like, there's no reality where, like, they're able to do anything really dangerous to us. Wow, there's 15 elks in the cube? What a time to be alive. We won the game. We won the game. I want to go say good game, but it's... What up, Kadeen? I actually, I mean, like, okay, so real talk, I think this card's fine. I think this is definitely a choice, though. Like, if you guys want to play it, play it. If not, don't play it. I understand either way. Um, I think you can cut down to two Jaces. I think Jace is fantastic, but there are a lot of times where you draw a bunch of Jaces. And it could be a little awkward. Um... God, I'm just like, I'm not, like, the problem is I'm not seeing any issues with the deck, which I guess isn't a problem, but, like, I almost want to find issues when you guys send me decks, so I'm like, okay, we can fix this, 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 and this, so I feel like there's a lot of work done on it, um, but, like, you're gonna publish our match, yeah, the whole video goes on YouTube, buddy, come on, you know how this works, you can only draft woodland critters, creatures that are in a forest, that's not how you spell forest and or and and or and card that looks sad or represents sorrow or crying or tears oh god all right actually we can do that i'm gonna do that um let's let's i mean i'm just gonna keep playing it like this because i don't see any glaring holes in this deck i think this deck is is good so far i actually do like having the one scarab god i don't know I think it's I think it's I think it's cool, and uh, I think a lot of people would not be expecting it. And you can just actually just steal games with it, <laughs> like. But I totally understand if someone is like, oh, I don't want to play that. That's a five man. That's not a modern card. That's a stupid standard card. I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. That's I understand. But if you're coming to me for deck stuff, uh, you have to know in advance that I'd probably suggest something like Scarab God because that's kind of my mo, right? That's that's our thing. I can't I can't stop looking at this box because like. It looks gorgeous. It's also very loud because, like, a lot of the cards are unsleeved inside of it. Like, you can see how hard these magnets are. It takes, like, a lot of effort to just pop this dude off. But, yeah, Aaron Aaron did an amazing job on this thing. It is gorgeous. And, like, all of the dividers uh, have little divots in them. So that you can easily, like, put your fingers in between and, like, grab, like, grab the cards. Very, very easily without having like find a hold so like 
it's very it's very nice i'm i'm a big fan of this box is this right nope this was i had it had it right the first time it's beautiful that is some how long is it um it's a good question i think it's like 18 inches yeah, it's like literally, it's about 18, a little over 18 inches. I, I can't tell if that was a, if that was a, yeah, I, I, you're just actually making jokes. I get it. Okay, we figured it out. That's nice. This hand seems great. Can I ask you what you, what will be your qualifications for if a card is or feels sad? Um, visually mostly, uh, I don't think... I think that's mostly what we have to go on. Oh, look, Harden Scales. No. Tron. Oh, we just take this Chromatic Star, right? And then, you like, your day is... Yeah, move this down. All right, all right. Let's... So, now you have a tower and no green mana. But, you know, I assume you'll draw a green mana, right? There's a tower. And there you go. No, it's actually fine. Oh, thought sees. Do we thought sees? Maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna actually keep up Liliana or uh, Manalik here. Right? Like I don't care about Ugin. Like you don't have the mana for Ancient Stirrings, so we're just gonna hope you don't hit a land. Right? You didn't hit a land last turn. And next turn, now we can Thought Seize. And keep up Mana Leak. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Ancient Stirrings. Karn and Ugin, huh? Let me get rid of the Karn first, because if you have, like, you can't actually can't cast Karn. Like, if you draw, like, Power Plant, and then you go get mine you can't actually cast Ugin you have to still wait a turn so yep like that all right uh-huh so we know all six of them It's actually fine. I'm not going to play Liliana here. Oh, this is just going to be a walking ballista for like... Sure. Oh. Walking ballista for a million. Fascinating. Yeah, we're definitely countering this. I thought you'd only make it 2-2, two, two, but... So, Walking Bliss is gone, Urza's Mine is gone. So, we know your hand is three Ancient Stirrings and an Ugin. You don't have a green source, so... Theoretically, we could risk it for the Biscuit, which I think we're going to do here. And then just hope they don't have two threats. But if they had like a Karn, they would have just played Karn last turn, most likely. Eh, take Ugin. All right, so one, two, three, four. So you have a second Walking Ballista. And three Ancient Stirrings that you cannot cast. It's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get a four, four. Well, that is something. probably damnation time you also just play Liliana here but I feel like this is the, the, the perfect time for damnation so eh, might as well damnation So 
three ancient stirrings. There's a lot of dead cards they can hit, but there's a lot of live cards too. They have about seven chromatic cards. They likely have probably like two forests, I would imagine, at, at least. So that's like 11. Uh, three Karns, three Ugans, I would presume. This is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, three Expedition Maps, which puts, they have like 20 outs. It's, yep, that's even not terrible. You can kill your own Urza's Power Plant to get a... Yeah, this is like, Tron is a ridiculously elegant deck. Oh, a Relic of Progenitus. Sure. So I imagine you play Relic here. We're probably just going to play Liliana, discard, go for the throw. Pretty easy. Um, what do we even want to hit here? Oh, they just activate immediately. Seems fine when you have seven mana left over. It's going to be a Jace. Oh, it's a Delta. All right. Zedre, thank you so much for the eight months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Discard. Oh, they didn't... What did they discard? Ancient Strings? Oh, yeah, because they exiled the other one. Um, I'm tempted to not play this because if we draw, like, a Cryptic Command, I still want to be able to discard it with Liliana. And we don't really need the mana right now. Yep, that is the last one. Karn is pretty good. Pretty good. Mana Link would have been great here. That actually is totally fine. Okay. That's good. Yep, deal. Well, we get to kill a Karn. Man, just keep on cycling. Topological Warfare, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm gonna play Delta here at the deck a little bit. Wow. Yep, and this is just how this is how Tron just kills you because they just end up playing Haymaker after Haymaker after Haymaker, and all their cards just cycle through their deck. They're, all their cards are pretty much useless. Uh, other than for like refilling their Haymakers, so it's like just kind of ridiculous <laughs> That's not going to do it. All right, we're going to go to the next game because we have a two-turn clock, and I don't really feel like we ha we can beat the inevitability of Oblivion Ring, Oblivion Stone, and World Breaker. We would have drawn a Mana Leak. All right. Well, we tried. We tried. So, Field of Ruin is good. Surgical Extraction can come in. Damping Sphere can come in. Counter Squall can come in. We are going to take out all the Fatal Pushes. Uh, Damnation as well. It's fine against... A one for one. <laughs> it's like we're not gonna they're not gonna have two guys at any point. Uh don't care about Graph Digger's Cage or Spell Bomb. Ceremony Rejection seems good. I mean the problem is like affinity's not really a thing anymore as much, so it's a little worse. Um Go for the throw pretty awkward. Cast down. Not great, but I 
Don't care about Dispel, I don't think. I think Kalidus could just be a dude. Don't want this. I don't care about these. Like, these are just going to get Ancient Stirrings. Literally, it's like almost the almost the only card in their deck that we, we're going to hit. Don't care about the other modes. Spell Bomb doesn't do much. Graft Digger's Cage. Doesn't do much. Uh, we put Surgical in in case we get Field of Ruin on a... Or like or even like a Thoughtseize on a Karn or something. And I think that's fine. I think we can keep this hand. Do we do 61 again? God, I'm so bad at that. I think it's funny that they'll let you do that. That never used to be a thing. However, there's a lot going on. Uh, what do we hit? Flooded Strand. I think we'll keep Cryptic. Bottom the Serum Visions. The lesser known version of 41. Yes, that is correct. Let's play it correctly, I guess. Go get... See, the problem with this is if we draw a Thought Caesar and Inquisition, we won't be able to play it. I think it's alright. I think it's okay. We did not. What's our plan? Next turn we're probably going to Field of Ruin this. So we can actually keep Serum Visions on top. We can go Field of Ruin and then play Serum Visions. I like that. Well, I'm less inclined to do that now. Two two towers is not really uh, where we're going to be serum visioning or uh, <laughs> field of ruining. Let's get rid of a swamp here. The lack of Ashia. I also realize now this at sixty one should actually be either. What does that even mean? Oh, 61, I got you. I got you. That's that's a little mathematics there for you. So, yep, chromatic. You're just never playing your power plant. You got to have one in play. Oh, two power plants. All right, well. So now they can play Power Plant, and we can kill it. They play on their Power Plant. It's actually, it's almost brilliant. Got him. <laughs> you did got him. Dang. I don't even want to activate Liliana. I kind of do, though, right? Like... We can get rid of Serum Visions here. That's basically a do-nothing. Is there some way I could get your take on a current health of Modern? Maybe in an easy-to-just format? Oh, actually, you know, it's funny you mentioned that, Water Sports Drew. I may have actually discussed the health of Modern this past weekend on the Freshly Brewed Podcast with Ali Trazi, which can be easily found on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, or you can check us out on patreon.com slash freshly brewed. Funny you should mention that. See, the problem is if they also have a mine in hand, though, then they get to use that. Then they get to go mine and then guy, but I guess we have cryptic command. So I'm just going to, I'm going to let it happen. And then they, 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 then they expose themselves. And you don't want us exposing ourselves. That's from Ghostbusters, in case you guys didn't know.
relic of progenius. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know. I guess this is acceptable. Very topical Ghostbusters. Was it though? Speaking of things that can be unaware, is there some way I can subscribe without paying $5? No. There's no way to do that. However, you can t check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore, and there are lower reward tiers there if $5 is outside of your budget. You can support me for as low as $1 a month. This is great. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. I don't really want to counter this, dude. But I don't want to not do anything either. And, like, it makes our Snapcaster a lot worse. Oh, also, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, you can use... If you have a Twitch Prime subscription, a subscription to Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, I'm not good at this. You guys take it over for me. Tap all creatures. Your opponent's control. Nope. Let's just counter this and draw a card. It's weird that I'm countering this, but we do have Snapcaster in hand, which is... Uh, this draws them a card, and it gets rid of our graveyard. So it's like... There's a lot of neutering going on, if you get, what I'm, if you get my drift there. What a weird thing to say. Give me your Twitch Prime bucks. Thank you. Kerwit with the gifted sub. Man, appreciate it, buddy. Thanks so much. What is this? You just cracked this? Oh, you cracked you, you added two and then you cracked it for a green. And now you're gonna Ancient Stir? Oh, you're just gonna play a second relic. Wow. Yep. Alright, well. What can you do? Four cards in hand, huh? Well, that's more than me, partner. Let's do one of these jobbies. Yo, man, I can see your hand. Oh, walking ballista and a nature's claim. Huh. And a tower and a ghost quarter. Let's get rid of the walking ballista. Because all your other cards suck. Uh, one... Two, three, four, Jasons. Let's look at your top card. Uh, you have a nature's claim? I don't care about that. Put a forest? No, you can keep it. We'll each discard. I'll get rid of a Snapcaster for this. Uh, nature. I don't know what the nature's claim is for. Maybe it's Kanta. So nature's claim is gone. They agreed, though. They're like, yeah, this is not good. We drew a forest. So now your hand is tower, ghost quarter, forest. Ghost Quarter is live. You're going to Ghost Quarter my Field of Ruin. You're not. That's cool. Um, so if we play this in Jace, we're going to net one card. If we Jace first, we're going to have two cards in hand. We get to choose which one. To, yeah, we'll just Jace first. I also might want to just brainstorm. But they have Ghost Quarter, which eh, doesn't let them search, I guess. You can give Frank a real doll model after the one. No, please. That's actually the creepiest thing you've ever said in this chat so far. <laughs> that is by far the creepiest thing you have ever said in this chat. And you've said some creepy stuff, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's actually incredible. There's a couple things going on here. Like, I want to just plus again because they don't have anything. Biggie Tattoos, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, sir. Uh, appreciate the support. Yeah, I'm going to seal them again. The problem is if they have, like, two bombs in a row, then we just have sad days. So this one's gone. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to... We're going to split... We're going to split the Tron lands for sure, but I... I I'd rather just keep her, uh, keep her around for a turn. Like, I, depending on what we see, if we see something completely innocuous, it's fine. Well, if they have two bombs in a row, we can negative Liliana is the thing. Like, we can we can mitigate the risk of that by negativing Liliana and dis distributing their Tron lands. Expedition map. You can actually have that. 
Uh, we'll play this. Each player discards. What is Jace? 11? 12. Jesus. So they're going to draw map, which is not super impressive. All right, so we know they have tower and map in hand. So if they map for something, ghost quartering their own tower. Eh, it's a thing. Get a forest? Sure. Yeah, so we can actually field of ruin their forest now, or their tower now. And they have a tower in hand, but they can't play a tower and whatever else they get, so... Yeah, this is actually fine. Because now they have to play tower and mine, if they have those. Uh, let's get a swamp here. All right, so tower is down? No, power plant, second power plant is down. What is this, just a Urza walking blister? That's a good draw, geez. Some guys have all the luck. So tower is down, you have double power plant, sure. <laughs> okay, seems fine. Dang. Well, we can still keep fate sealing. Uh, they didn't draw the map. They actually got rid of the map. Uh, Sanctum of Ugin? No, you can have that. Yeah, we're pretty much in total control right now. Josiah, thanks so much for the for the regular stuff. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. One, two, three, four. Lily. We can also get Snapcaster and Thoughtseize, but that doesn't seem good. Plus you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. A mine? I actually don't even care if you have the mine now because you have nothing else to do with it. Whereas it's significantly less powerful than, say... Um, and we also get to ultimate Liliana next turn. So if you play the mine, it's pretty bad. Some guys have all the luck. Yeah, I think we have this game pretty much under control. Um, so you did play the mine. Okay, okay. How many towers? You have three towers in the great two towers in the graveyard. All right, so. Your odds of getting a tower are pretty low. Docker, what did you say? You said read my message? Where is it? Oh, your your text change. Planeswalker Tron against Tron. Eat it. That's actually pretty funny. I'm a fan. All right, so. Um, don't know who that is. Hold on one second. Okay, so your odds of hitting Tron are low, so you're going to want to prioritize the Tron land. Or the, the tower, rather. So I think it's actually Power Plant, Power Plant, Mine versus Tower, Sanctum, Forest, Forest. That feels correct. Because you're getting, we're getting rid of three Tron lands. You only have one tower left in the deck. 
Tower Forest, Forest Sanctum. Yep, you guys figured it out. Um, we're also going to look at your top. So now you need a tower. Yep, you can have that. And good lord, we get to Ultimate Ugin next turn. That's pretty cool. Or uh, Jace, rather. Oh, wow. Ultimate and Jace in Modern against Tron. There is no greater feeling than this. This is the life. This We're living our best life right now. Oh, why couldn't you let me do it? Oh, man. Uh, if you put tower and mine versus everything, then all they have to do is hit a power plant, which is, is still low, but... um, Yeah, that was amazing. We had Planeswalker Tron. Oh, I thought that was the match. Man, I was so... Oh, man. I thought that was the match. Now I'm really disappointed. Uh, this is definitely keepable, especially with a surgical extraction. Getting one Tron piece into the trash can is... That's a real thing. Field of Ruin. It's not a Field of Ruin. What's wrong with you? Man, I was so sad. We could have actually done the thing. All right, well, they got two. It's awkward. I'm, I'm uncomfortable right now. This is how it goes, right? Damping sphere. Remember the time we boarded in those cards like damping sphere and then we never saw them? Me too. I know this isn't necessarily on brand, but have you considered doing a video series where you play run the meta decks through a league and offer your thoughts and have some lulls? I have, actually. I've considered this. Seems like a good idea. In fact, I'm going to start right this second. Oh, I see. This is nice because you have this, uh, this Urza's Tower here. How nice. How oh, nice. Let's get a watery grave tapped. What are the odds they have? What if we, what, can we surgical extraction this? Is that worth it? I think it is because we have double snapcaster. So like we're gonna surgical this guy if, let's see what they have. We get to also see all the information in their hand. Emrakul, the promised end. And a bunch of junk. All right. And four Karns, two Ulamogs, a World Breaker. I hope this stays, but I don't, I don't trust that it will, so I'm actually going to save it. I have no idea if this is actually going to stay. All right. Get rid of this one in the graveyard as well. Okay. So, I mean, you get to take something here, which is fine. And it did not stay, so that's cool. Also, exiling this guy from their graveyard does turn off their, uh, makes their Emrakul significantly worse. Oh, Liliana. How sad. Chromatic Sphere. So we can cross that guy out. Crack it. They still have a Nature's Claim in hand. Like, what? Did, what is the Nature's Claim for? And Sylvan Scry. We can cross that guy out. All right. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus sorcery and artifact. So next turn, you are going to be one shy of casting Emrakul. Ah, Damping Sphere. You guys are smart. I didn't even think about it because it's not in the main deck and we were, like, discussing it earlier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. You guys are smart. What 
What do I want to hit here? I don't know. Oh, we're so close, dude. Oh man, I want them to go. I want to go field of ruin this, and then surgical extraction it. Ah, uh, the problem is they wait. Don't they have life from the loam? They have life from the loam in hand. Do they have a way to cast it though? They have Emrakul life and nature's claim in hand, but no green mana. We give them a green mana with the field of ruin. That's rough. If we feel to ruin this turn, it's brutal, though. Like, because then they just get the life from the loam. They literally get to cast life from the loam. Let's keep in mind they have life from the loam and nature's claim in hand. So I'm not going to walk into that. Uh, Emrakul costs 13, which means it costs 2 less because they have artifact in here. So it costs 11. They're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they can't actually cast an Emrakul here. Oh, I played the wrong land. Wow, that's going to be game winning. Game losing. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I wanted to do it on their end step, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to play all my lands because oh, that's going to be that's going to cost us the, the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's brutal. Hatan, the host did go through, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You are the best. All right, so... forest play forest okay seems good so now you have tower claim life emrakul in hand oh we can no we can still do it we can still do it yeah we just go one two field of ruin we have one two we snap caster and then we surgical extraction yeah we can totally do it next turn What are they casting here? What's going on right now? Oh yeah, this is actually going to work out great. Uh, we didn't actually mess up. Sylvan Scrying. So you didn't play. You played a forest this turn, right? So this is actually pretty okay. Oh, there's a mine. There's a mine. Can I show you guys the magic of of Disney? I will choose the tower. Oh, it's a feeling of beauty. No more towers for you. Let's make sure they're in the exile zone. Uh, let's get the one in the graveyard too. Life from the loan. Oh, that would be so bad, right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So we know you have a mine in hand, a life from the loam, a nature's claim, and an emerald. Seems good. Seems good. Yeah, that's why we wanted to do it before they played the land, because we wanted to actually hit the one that's in the hand. So Urza's mine. Now you have Life from the Loam, Nature's Claim, Emrakul, and something else. And Emrakul still costs 11. One, two, three. Surgical Field Run. Sure, there's only one more in the deck. Did they not even get it? Because it's still in the graveyard, and they didn't exile the one that's in the deck. That seems like a mistake. Did they just life from the loam return no cards? Interesting. I don't know what's going on right now. And I think we're in good shape. We might actually just even run out of Snapcaster just to... Uh, we're going to keep this polluted delta. Actually, we don't have to worry about Thought Knots here because those are gone too. Jeez.
So they no longer have life from loam. Oh, they dredged it. Did they dredge it back? Yeah, they dredged it back. Okay, so they have life from loam again. But they didn't hit any lands, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to play Snapcaster here just to have beats on because it's a four turn clock. I like that. Oh, I like that. They do have, let's not forget they have Nature's Claim in hand, though. But they don't if we keep the, let's keep both of these. I guess this doesn't actually matter, does it? This doesn't even matter anymore because they don't have Tron. So I forgot about that. So that's something. Oh, you're just, you're just, so they're just casting it to try to hit lands into the graveyard so that they can actually have lands, which is not terrible. Um, yeah, we'll just pass here. Draw the Inquisition. See what we hit. You have two cards in hand. We get to know your hand so I can close this snip, this snipperino. So your hand is literally just Emrakul right now. Eh, that's pretty good for us. I just don't even need Damping Sphere, which is pretty comical. It actually just turns on their future nature's claims, um, which is just worse. One, two, three, four. You have six, six mana, and you have instant sorcery, creature, and artifact. So Emrakul costs nine. You are three mana away. So even if you go land, 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 you'd be dead before that. So plus we have a mana leak. So I feel like we're in good shape. I don't think drawing life from loams here is going to do it. Emrakul can be countered, yes. Uh, the other one can't. The the thirteen mana one or the fifteen mana one can't. Sure. Oh look, we're playing against the best deck in modern. Wow. Uh, you are just in time because last last game we ended up ultimating Jace for the win against Tron, and this game. We're just going to beat them down with two unsnapcasters. Uh, yeah, we're actually at a point where we can go... Uh, let's just make them discard their Emrakul, I guess. And I'll, I'll ironically discard a Damping Sphere. <laughs> That's just such gas. Here, I'll just throw this card in the trash can. I do not need it against you. I'll give them the good games with the triple exclamation mark if they say anything. Good gamums. Oh, we're having a good game. Do you think that damage was better or worse than the go for the throat in game one? Uh, it was, I think they're about equal. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to play. You too. You too. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. All right. So yeah, Valkyrie, actually, I'm, I, I'd am i feel super comfortable with this deck, to be honest with you. I think the deck has a lot of play against most of the matchups. Um, I, you know, it's hard to say what they, how it would do against the aggro decks. Like, I feel like burn might be rough. Um, maybe. I mean, I might want another, like, Kalidus because of that, but I don't know if Kalidus is even good enough. Like, you might just want to be... Like, you also have Graph Digger's Cage and Nihil Spellbomb, which these weren't really... And, and Surgical Extraction. Um, I know you said you were afraid of Dredge, but I don't know if you need that much Dredge hate. Like, this is, like, seven cards dedicated to it. If Dredge is stronger in your metagame, by all means, play them. Um, my concern would be, like, that there's not a ton of burn. Or, like... I, I don't know if burn is even that big anymore, depending on where you are. Um... But yeah, Experimental Frenzy decks, exactly. So, like, I would actually almost add more Collective Brutality or Kalidus just to, like, kind of hedge against that a little bit. And, um, I, I don't know. I, I like this deck. I think the deck is sweet through and, like, plus two launch. No, I don't think that's... Mm, I don't like having to have the double blue early. 
but eh, maybe that's a, an option. That is an option, right? Like it is an option. I think I think logic knot is definitely an option. I would actually take out one logic, maybe one mana leak for one logic knot. I think that's a fine. Uh, I think the worst is probably Graft Digger's Cage. I think Surgical is great because again, it works really really well with Tron when you have Field of Ruin, like as we just saw. Um, so it kind of hedges over into other matchups. But Nihil Spell Bomb is kind of like your your catch all. Um. Yeah, I, we don't really. I don't feel like we need. I don't feel like we really need flank tons just because we have damnation. But it is another option. Like the problem is, there's tons and tons of options. Cage works against Coco and Car, but so do all of your other cards like Thoughtseize, Mana Leak, um, you know, Cryptic Command. Like, I mean, the problem is you're not gonna. You're probably not gonna be boarding in Graftigger's Cage against Coco and Cord. Like, I, I just don't see that happening. Like, we never did, and we played against two Coco decks. I don't know. But anyway. Scott, thank you so much for the, the, the opportunity to play this. If you guys want to have your own deck critiques, you can check out my uh, Twitch information below, or you can check it out in the YouTube description, depending on where you're watching. Um, always a fun process. I love checking out the, the decks you guys send me. And uh, you can also support me on Twitch, on Patreon. You can check out AaronKaneDeckBoxes.com. Link is in the description below. You get 10% off with uh, the, if you use my name, Frank, in the promo area. Um, and also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Uh, so if you guys are getting that stuff anyway, definitely check check it out there. And um, it'll help you, and it's a great way to support the stream. So uh, you can probably make me play a Thousand Year Storm deck. Definitely check it out. Uh, Scott, yeah, definitely let me know how you do. I would love to hear it because I would also sleeve this deck up and play it. It does all the things I like. It controls the game. Uh, it has really, really strong cards. It plays Jace the Mind Sculptor, which is awesome. And uh, we went 4-0, so I mean got something going but thank you guys for watching if you're watching on twitch i'm not leaving i'm just ending the youtube video and i will see you guys next time